Hello and welcome to Twinnet Speaker video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use micro SD card. When we can use the micro SD card, there are three options: on button price, on time, and on connection loss. First option is on button press. In this case, we need to use logic input. It means we can connect hardware button or some sensor which will trigger this action. Second option on time, you will schedule the time when the content should start to play from the SD card. Third option on connection loss, when there is no connection with the server and the SD card is inserted, the content from the SD card will start to play. When the connection with the server will be established again, Streaming from the server will be preferred and the content from the SD card will be stopped. Let's have a look on the setting. Go to the right bottom corner and start control panel. Login. In my example, I'm going to use the SD card in on time mode, so I don't need any session to be created. I will go to destinations and zones where I can see my connected net speakers. I can check the status. You can see that no SD card are inserted. Status is ejected. So I will insert the SD card and now it's mounted. Same with the second net speaker. Again, I insert the SD card. Status will change from mounted. As a next step, go to Synchronization Manager. Here, create an action. Right mouse click button. Add action. Now we can start to set up parameters for SD card. In our example, we are going to use action type on time. Choose action duration, repeat end times, so the future created playlist on the SD card will be played only once. And you can also set up the fader between actions in case you will have more actions created. Now we need to set up schedule time. I will choose daily. And I would like to play the playlist on the SD card from 12 hours 15 minutes every day. As a next step, we need to choose net speakers to which we will synchronize this action. So we are having SD cards in both net speakers and we would like to use both of them. Now we can create content of playlist which we would like to upload to the SD cards. You can also add a pause between playlists. Choose a pause and set up the time. When you are ready with the setting, do not forget to save the configuration. Next step is to synchronize our created action to the SD cards. We can schedule the synchronization. We can choose from option daily, weekly, monthly 
or only once. It depends how often you would like to change the actions on the SD card. In our example, I'm going to synchronize the action to the SD cards immediately by using button synchronize. Confirm it. And in destinations and zones, you can see on NetSpeakers the process of the synchronization. When the synchronization is done, our SD cards are ready to be used with the action we have created. Let's have a look on our action one more time. So our created playlist, gong, 10 second pause and then music from YouTube will start to play at 12 hours and 15 minutes. Do not forget that in menu help you can find all information which you might need for the setting and information about the hardware which is supported. So you can see sizes and parameters of the SD cards or you can have a look how to use and set up synchronization manager. This was an example how to use micro SD card in 2 speaker device. Thank you for watching.